of Allah Almighty, who is the master of the day of judgment. I am Abid Hussain Bhutta, launching a YouTube channel for the educational purposes particularly and other videos on politics, religion, history and general knowledge will also be uploaded. So let's start for the video and I am going to upload the video for mathematics of SSC 2 chapter 1. Chapter 1 Quadratic Equation Quadratic Equation is an equation of second degree or if the maximum power of variable is 2 then the equation is called Quadratic Equation and standard form of the Quadratic Equation is AX square plus BX plus C is equal to 0 where A, B and C are real numbers and X is the variable and A must not be equal to 0 if a will be 0, then this quadratic equation will be reduced to the linear equation as when 0 multiplied with x square, remaining equation will become bx plus c is equal to 0 and it is a linear equation, not a quadratic equation. And if b is equal to 0, then this equation will be called the pure quadratic equation and it is written in this form ax square plus c is equal to 0, this equation is called pure quadratic equation. And if c is equal to 0, then it will remain the quadratic equation, but one of the root will be 0. Methods for solution of quadratic equation. There are three methods to solve the quadratic equation. First is factorization. Second is completing square. And third one is quadratic formula. First two methods will be applied in exercise 1.1 whereas the third formula will be applied in exercise 1.2. Exercise 1.1, question number 1. In first question, we have to convert the equation in the standard form and also point out that either the equation is pure or not. So, I am going to solve the first part of question number 1 that is x plus 7 into x minus 3 is equal to minus 7. Students, on the left side there are two factors, so first I multiply the first two factors, x will be multiplied with both the terms that are written in the second part, so x multiplied by x we will get x square, when x will be multiplied by minus 3 we will get minus 3x, now 7 has to multiply with both the numbers that are written in the second part of the left side, 7 multiplied by x means 7x plus and minus when multiplying it will become minus and 7 3's are 21. This 7 is minus on the right side. When I transfer it to the other side, it will become plus 7 and there on the right side, no number will be left and it will become equal to 0. Now the like terms will be simplified and the equation will be written as x square. One term is minus and other is plus. When the signs are different of two terms, Minor, smaller term will be subtracted from the greater one and the sign of greater one will be used so it will become plus 4x. Again there are two terms, two like terms having different sign. We have to subtract the smaller one from the greater and put the sign of greater one. So 21 minus 7 means 14 and it will become minus because minus is the greater number sign is equal to 0. It is the standard form the, of the quadratic equation in which a is 1, b is 4 and c is 14 and it is not a pure quadratic equation as the value of b is 4. Now I am going to solve the third part of question number 1 and third part is x over x plus 1 plus x plus 1 over x is equal to 6. We have to convert this equation in the standard form of the quadratic equation and there are two fractions on the left side and you know that fractions are solved with the help of LCM. 
So LCM of the left side will be x plus 1 into x. And when LCM will be divided by the denominator of the first fraction, x plus 1 will be cancelled to x plus 1. And left one is x. When x multiplied by the numerator, that is also x. And it will become x square. Plus, as plus sign is between the two fractions, so I will use the plus sign as it is. And now the LCM will be divided by the denominator of the second fraction, that is x. So x will be cancelled and left one is x plus 1. And x plus 1 will be multiplied by the numerator, that is also x plus 1. So it will become x plus 1 whole square, that is equal to 6. Now, we can simplify the numerator as well as denominator, x square plus, here I will use the formula of a plus b whole square, that is a square plus b square, that is 1, plus 2 into a in place of a, I will write x, and b in place of b, I would like to write 1 over, x will be multiplied by x, and it will become x square, and when x multiplied by 1, it will become x, that is equal to 6. Now, simplify the numerator, x square plus x square mean 2x square and I would also write it in descending order 2 multiplied by x multiplied by 1 mean 2x and 1 square mean 1 and x square plus x is dividing on the left side when I transfer it to the side it will multiply with 6 and I will write in this form 6 into x square plus x now it will be written as 2x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 6x square plus 6x. As coefficient of x square on the right side is greater 1 than the coefficient of x square on the left side. So I will transfer all the three terms from left side to right side. And here, here will be 0. And his 0 is equal to 6x square plus 6x, when all the three terms are transferred to other side, these terms will become min minus 2x square minus 2x minus 1, and 0 will become equal to 6x square minus 2x square, because both are the like terms, we will have 4x square, again 6x and minus 2x are the like terms, and when these terms are simplified, it will become plus 4x minus 1. In ninth class, second chapter, you have read symmetric property. Symmetric property is if A is equal to B, B, then B will be equal to A. So I will write the right side to the left side and left side to the right side. So it will become 4x square plus 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. Here A is 4, B is 4 and C is minus 1. And it is not a pure quadratic equation as the value of B is so it is a quadratic equation, not a pure quadratic equation. We are going to solve question number 2 of exercise 1.1. In this question, we have to use factorization method to solve the quadratic equation. In factorization, we have to break B into two parts such that two parts, I mean to say P plus Q must be equal to B and P multiplied by Q must be equal to a into C. Part of question number 2 is x square minus x minus 20 is equal to 0. As I have told you that we have to break the middle term into two parts such that the sum of the two parts must be equal to B and the product of the two parts must be equal to the product of A and C. So here our a is 1 and c is minus 20, so it will become minus 20. Now we have to break minus 20 into two factors in a way that the product must be equal to minus 20 and sum must be equal to minus 1. So the factors are 1 multiplied by 20, 2 multiplied by 10 and 4 multiplied by 5. In the middle as minus is required, so I will put minus sign with the greater number and when we multiply 1 with minus 20, it will become minus 20, but the sum will be 19, that is not our requirement. And if we uh, multiply the second part of factors, 2 multiplied by minus 10, it will become minus 20, but the sum will be minus 8, that is not our requirement. 
and if we multiply 4 and minus 5 we will get minus 20 and when we sum up both the factor 4 and minus 5 minus 1 will be there and it is our requirement so we will use this pair of factors in place of minus 1 you can write 4x uh, first and 5x after that as well as you can write 5x first and then 4x it will not change our question so I will write now x square plus 4x minus 5x minus 20 is equal to 0. Now there are 4 terms. From first two term I will take x as common and left one will be x plus 4 as I have taken x from this term and x from second term. From the last two term I will take minus 5 as common as minus 5 is the factor of this term as well as this term. Here I want to tell you one thing, whenever we take minus as common, this minus will change the sign of all the numbers that are written in the bracket. So here I will write plus x. When I have taken minus 5 as common from minus 20, with leftover will be plus 4 is equal to 0 because when minus 5 will multiply by plus 4, it will become minus 20. Now, x plus 4 is common between the two terms, so I will try take x plus 4 as common and left one will be x and minus 5 that is equal to 0. Students, there are two factors on the left side and the product is 0. Keep in mind if the product of two number is 0, then one number must be 0 as 9 multiplied by 0 means 0 and 0 multiplied by 5 means 0. It means that one of the factor must be equal to 0. So we don't know that either this factor is 0 or this factor is 0. So we will take both the factor as 0 to find the values of x. So I will write x plus 4 is equal to 0 and x minus 5 is equal to 0. Transfer this 4 to other side. In fact, here we are using additive property of equality. Minus 4 will be added on both the side and plus 4 and minus 4 will be cancelled and is equal to 0 minus 4 mean minus 4. But for the convenience for writing more number, we just use that transfer this 4 to other side on the other way. But the correct method is we must use the additive property of equality and we have to add the additive inverse on the both side of the equation. But our convenience, most of the teacher, I must say that all the teacher in Pakistan and student use this method, transfer this 4 to other side. So x will be equal to 0 minus 4 mean minus 4. And when we transfer this minus 5 to other side, it will become plus 5, 0 plus 5 mean 5. So the roots of this quadratic equation is minus 4 and 5. So our solution set is minus 4 and 5. Now I am going to solve fourth part of question number 2 of exercise 1.1 and that is that is x square minus 11x is equal to 152. It is not written in the standard form. To change this into standard form I will transfer this minus 152 to the other side and it will become minus 152 and is written as x square minus 11x minus 152 is equal to 0. Now students, multiply the coefficient of square term and the real number that is minus 152. When minus 52 is multiplied with 1, we will get minus 152 and it is written in the working part. So break this 152 into two factors such that the product must be equal to 152 and sum must be equal to minus 11. Here I want to tell you one thing that I have not explained in question number 1. If our product is negative, then one of the factor must be negative. And the sign that is in the middle must be put in with the greater part of the factors. So break this one minus 152 into the factors and I will write all the factors in this way. 1 multiply by 152, 2 multiply by 76, in 3, 3 is not the factor of 152, 4 multiply by 4, 3 is 12, 3 carry 4, 8 is 32. 
in five, five is not the factor, and six is also not the factor, seven is also not the factor of 152, and eight is the factor, eight multiplied by eight, ones are eight, 72, and eight nines are 72. Now students, in the middle there is minus sign, so put the minus sign with the greater number. As I have told you, if our product is negative number, one of the factors must be negative. So last pair of factors will be used at product of 8 and minus 19 will be minus 152 and sum of 8 and minus 19 is 11. So this pair of factors will be used. So I will write x square plus 8x or you can write minus 19x, it is up to you, minus 19x plus 8x minus 152 is equal to 0. Students, if you think carefully, sum of minus 19x and plus 8x will be minus 11. It means that I have nothing added or not subtracted from this equation. I have just changed the form of the equation for the sake of factorization. So from the first two terms only x is common and I will write x and here left over will be x minus 19 as I have taken this x as common. From the last two terms 8 will be common as 8 is the factor of minus 152 when we will take 8 as common left number will be minus 19 so I will write 8 into x minus 19 is equal to 0. Here the common is x minus 19. In the second factor left numbers will be written or the coefficient of the common numbers will be written that are x plus 8 is equal to 0. Now I will write in this way x minus 19 is equal to 0 and x plus 8 is equal to 0. x is equal to plus 19 because when we transfer this minus 19 to other side it will become plus and when we transfer this plus 8 to other side it will become minus. So our solution set is 19 and minus 8. I am going to solve fifth part of question number 2 that is x plus 1 over x plus x over x plus 1 is equal to 25 over 12. And we have to solve this quadratic equation with the help of factorization. So first of all, I will convert this equation in the standard form of the quadratic equation. And you know that fractions are always solved with the help of LCM. So LCM of the denominator of the two fraction is x into x plus 1. When LCM will be divided by the denominator of the first fraction, x will be cancelled and left over is x plus 1 and x plus 1 will be multiplied by the numerator that is also x plus 1. So we will get x plus 1 whole square and I will put plus sign as it is in the middle of the two fraction. Now LCM will be divided by the denominator of the second fraction so x plus 1 will be cancelled and left factor is x and x multiplied to x we will get x square that is equal to 25 over 12. Now open the formula as it is the first identity a plus b whole square so I will write a square that is x plus b square that is 1 plus 2ab a is x and b is 1 plus this x square is written as it is and in denominator this x will be multiplied with both the terms and we will get x square plus x is equal to 25 over 12. So simplify the numerator x square plus x square mean 2x square plus 2 into x into 1 mean 2x plus 1 square mean 1 over x square plus x is equal to 25 over 12. Now look at the denominator of both the sides. There are single denominators so we will do cross multiplication and I will write this term b c m it means by cross multiplication. By cross multiplication mean numerator of the one side will be multiplied with the denominator of the other side and denominator of the other side will be multiplied with the numerator of the second side. So I will write in this way 
25 into x square plus x is equal to 12 into 2x square plus 2x plus 1 means this 25 is multiplying by the denominator and this 12 is multiplying by the numerator. So simplify 25 into x square plus x I will, it will become 25x square plus 25x is equal to 24x square as this 12 is multiplying with all the three terms plus 24x plus 12 ones are 12. Now transfer all the three terms from right side to left side just to change it into the proper form of quadratic equation. So it will be written as 25x square plus 25x minus 24x square minus 24x minus 12 is equal to 0. Now like terms will be added up 25x square minus 24x square mean x square 25x minus 24x mean plus x and minus 12 is written as it is equal to 0. It is the standard form of the quadratic equation. As we have to use factorization method, so I will write the product of A and C that will become minus 12. Now minus 12 will be broken down into two factors in a way that product should be equal to minus 12 and sum should be equal to plus 1. So write all the factors of 12, 1 multiplied by 12, 2 multiplied by 6, 3 multiplied by 4. In the middle plus sign is required, so I will put minus sign with the smaller number. So if you think carefully, last pair of factor will be used because the sum will be equal to 1. So I will write it as x square minus 3x plus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. From first two term, I will take x as common and left over will be x minus 1. And from the last two term, I will take 4 as common and left over will be x minus 3 that is equal to 0. Common is x, sorry, common is x minus 3, not plus 3, and x plus 4 is equal to 0. Product of both the factor is 0, so one of the factor is 0, but we, we don't know that which one is 0, so I will write both the factor is equal to 0. So when we transfer this minus 3 to other side, it will become plus 3, and when we transfer this plus 4 to other side, it will become minus 4 so our solution set is 3 and minus 4. This video will be uploaded in Urdu as well for Urdu medium students later on. I will also upload the videos on D1, D2, D3, Park Studies for SSC level, English Grammar and on Physics Numericals later on. So keep on watching. Dear viewers, if you find this video useful and worthwhile, so please like this video, share this video and subscribe the channel. Have a good day. God bless you.